first quarter final of men's heavy 91 kilograms. In the red corner, representing Russia, Muslim Gazimagomedov. So we move up to the 91 kilogram heavyweight division for men and making his way towards the boxing ring is the tournament number one seed, the number one ranked boxer in the world and the reigning world championship gold medalist, Muslim Gaji Magomedov, the man from Dagestan, preparing for his second bout of this European Olympic qualification event. His opponent is Aziz Muhyiddin, ranked equal number 34 in the world. 22 years of age from the Campania region in Italy. He preparing for his third bout of Paris 2021. Both men prevailing on unanimous points decision verdicts. Muslim Gajimegov be beating the talented, fearless 20-year-old Wilfred Frolentin, who really gave a good account of himself, the 2019 European Youth Champion and against the number one in the world. As for Aziz Muadin, well, he had a hard-fought display, which was a rough house contest against Molkahit Ilyas of Turkey. We've got judges from Guatemala, Kuwait, Korea, Japan, and Sri Lanka scoring this one. Now, during the course of that physical affair against the man from Turkey, a considerable contusion appeared on the forehead of the man in blue. How significant an impairment will that prove to be? Now, he's got past the doctor, so we've got to assume that he's OK, but it could well present something of a target for an accurate punch pickup like the reigning world champion, Muslim Gadji Magomedov. These two men met before at the quarter-final stage of the 2019 European Games. Muslim Gadji Magomedov claimed championship gold in that particular tournament and eliminated the man he's facing today at the quarter-final stage. So there is familiarity, but Muslim Gadji Magomedov has just continued to improve and impress over the years. So looking for a repeat victory over the man in blue. But make no mistake, Muwidin is a skillful operator as well. Yep, he looked very good yesterday. As did Gadji Magomedov, he's so powerful, isn't he? And technically, he isn't too shabby either. And he'll have to be sharp tonight, because Muadin's a tricky customer, Ron. The kind of guy that can make anyone look pretty bad with his, with his style. Well, neither man was heeding the command of break from the referee. Lunging in with a straight left out of that southpaw stance was Muidin. He tried to finish with a right hook, but there he did get through with a right hook, left cross. Not putting much on his punches, but demonstrating quick hand speed. Yeah, sharpness as well. He looks sharp and accurate. He looks to want to surprise Gajimadamedov with sharp attacks. Good left hand there from Muidin, even though he's backed up. So contrasting styles in evidence here. Tricky southpaw skills being exhibited by Muidin, bobbing and weaving, leaping in, invariably up on his toes and moving backwards and laterally. Hard right hand landed to the body, then a right hand nice. upstairs from Gadji Magomedov. Gadji Magomedov has to keep that pressure on Muidin and he has to go in behind his shots because Muradin is the kind of fellow on that will just throw surprise shots at you and then tangle you up or sneak away to the side. He's the kind of guy that can steal a points decision from a boxer. But the big fellow in red, I'm quite sure, with all his experience. Oh, that's a terrific left hand, which followed a right out of that yeah. orthodox stance. And here, as the pressure boxer on the front foot, he's demonstrating a different side to his game. Because against the young home boxer, the 20-year-old Wilfred Florentine from France, who was incessantly on the front foot, 
Gaji Magomedov elected to box on the back foot to repel his advances. Here, in this first three minutes, he's been invariably the man applying the pressure by moving forwards. He sure has. There's one of those surprise, awkward, quite ungainly attacks from Muadin. That swelling on his head looks to have went down. Nowhere near as bad as it was yesterday. We we're quite concerned when we originally seen it. The Italian Connor done a fantastic job to get the swelling down in between the round. When he went back to the round, back from the round, it was quite considerably swollen. But when he went back out, it was much smaller. You can just see the trace of it there from yeah. that low camera angle, Alex. That is what was up like an egg had been inserted beneath his skin yes. yesterday. But the team have done a good job reducing that swelling. Saw the scorecards, the man in blue taking it for judge three, the other four observers scoring in favour of Muslim Gadzi Magomedov. So into the second round we go then. Both of these men looking to, pro well, looking to progress through to their first Olympic tournament. This the quarter-final stage, 26 boxers started the heavyweight bracket as Muhyiddin not too far away with the southpaw left. And of those 26, only the final four will travel through to become Olympians in Tokyo later this summer. Stiff qualification for these bigger boxers. No box-off scenario, good two-shot combination landed by Muhyiddin. You've simply got to keep on winning and make it onto the rostrum to become an Olympian, Alex. No pressure. <laughs> Kaji Magomedov way out of distance there with the right hand lead really unlike him to take a chance like that and it is a chance against someone like Muradin who relies on opportunities and maybe a little bit of luck with his style oh, dangerous trade off there both guys' heads within close di distance to each other as well. So approaching the midpoint of this second round, both men flailing as they trade misses. Rather untidy as neither boxer really finding the range. Armbar applied by Muslim Gadzi Magomedov. Scores with a long right which seemed to come from last week but it was still able to find the target. And again, it's untidy. Yeah, awkward clubbing left hand there as well, wasn't it? Well, this is the second time in the round that, or excuse me, in the contest that Aziz Muhyiddin has been complaining about his protective cup. This time, time has been called by the official so it can be adjusted and repaired. Let's hope that it doesn't cause him any inconvenience and he's able to concentrate on his boxing rather than his equipment. You really do need to make sure prior to your contests and competitions run that everything is working well. It's so important. Last thing you need is to be distracted by an ill-fitting mouthpiece or bootlaces that keep coming undone. And during the course of this trade-off, it's Gadji Magomedov who got the better of it. Muhyiddin claims him around the waist like a linebacker in American football. Just to gain some respite, and now it's back at distance. Gadji Magomedov pressing forwards once again. Good right hand landed on the inside. It was a chopping, arcing hook landed by Gadji Magomedov. And then a sickening right hand dug into the solar plexus by the reigning world champion. Terrific punch. Brilliant stuff there from the big man in red. Picked that shot beautifully. And Muradin felt it, believe that. Oh, just gets out of the way of that right hand there from Magomedov. Well, it was a rather untidy three-minute stanza, but for my money, there's no question that this man took it. And those two punches that he landed, the right hook upstairs, followed by the left hand to the pit of the man in blue's stomach. Quality punches indeed. Both trying to out-time each other here. But the man in red for us got the upper hand, certainly. Although Muradin not making it easy for Gadja Magomedov here. Well, wow. <laughs> there you four go. One split in favor of Aziz Muhyiddin, which I find extraordinary. It was an untidy three minutes. 
but the man in blue has taken it on a 4-1 split. So into the third and final round then of a contest that is now in the balance. It's been untidy and maybe, maybe a moment of sustained quality from either boxer if the contesting continues in the vein that we saw in round two, maybe some sustained quality will be enough to tip the balance in favour of that boxer who can produce it. Concentration going to be absolutely crucial now. Good right hand to the body once again from Gadji Magomedov. And tactics, Ron. Tactics in his last round are very important. Each boxer has to establish the rhythm and set about the task. Heads come dangerously close again. Good counter punch here from Muadin, but Gadji Magomedov comes straight back into the attack. Final word in that exchange was a glancing right hand from Gadji Magomedov. Flicking right jab landed by Muadin. The counter response from Gadji Magomedov was off the mark. That straight right hand did get through. And because his movements are so big, Muidin. He looks busy all the time, leaping left and right. He never stops for a second. And those colourful socks and boots make it all the more dramatic to the eye. But look at that, shoulder charging the man, claiming him around the waist. So the clock continuing to tick. We're beyond the midpoint of the final round. It's another tangle of arms at short range. Gadji Magomedov remaining on the front foot. Neither man able to land cleanly, but that right hand did get through from the Russian boxer. It's Muidin who is initiating a clinch once again. Nice sharp straight right hand there from Gadji Magomedov. Remember, only the winner will progress through to Tokyo 2020. There is no box-off scenario at 91 kilogram heavyweight. Whoa. Only four men to progress. So this contest on a knife edge coming into the third and final round as Gadji Magomedov made just to look a little bit untidy as he tried to close the gap against this non-stop movement of the man in blue. He wants to start punching Gadji Magomedov where he thinks Muadin might, might be, not where he is, you know. <laughs> Well, once again, we've had time called because for the third time in the contest, Muidin complaining about his protective cut. For the second time, time has had to be called for it to be adjusted. It's been a really staccato affair, nothing really flowing as Gadji Magomedov scores with a left jab. And it's Muidin initiating the clinch here, wrestling his man around the boxing ring. Referee maybe not being stern enough. Good right hand nice landed by the shot. man in red. Oh, and again, elbow. looking to initiate a clinch once more, but Gadji Magomedov keen to work away. Goes in pursuit of his man at the final belt. And for what it's worth, I feel the man who is raising his arms in anticipation of the verdict, Muslim Gadji Magomedov, did enough to claim that verdict. But what say the judges? All the better work there from the man in red from Russia. So going to be nervous moment until this verdict is announced. What will be going through the mind of the boxers here? The winner goes through to Tokyo 2020. And there is confirmation of a unanimous point decision victory. Muslim Gadji Magomedov, the tournament number one seed, the number one ranked boxer in the world and the reigning world champion goes through to his first Olympic Games, prevailing on a unanimous point decision victory in a repeat win over his familiar rival Aziz Muadin from Italy. It wasn't the tidiest of affairs, but the top man at 91 kilogram heavyweight got the job done to go through to Tokyo later this summer. And for us, the man who won the contest is the man that we thought deserved to win the contest. He was the better man for us. Although it was a messy affair, Gadji Magomedov goes on to Tokyo. And look at that, 29-28 across the board. That's how tight it was deemed to be. It was untidy, but it's Muslim Gadji Magomedov who goes through to Tokyo 2020.